just a little demo. This is just a little demo of the uh, brush, the brush eight. This is a plane in 3D view with a camera matched up to it, and uh, it's great. What we got here is actually, um, I've got a timeline up here that you should see. There's eight brushes, so we can step through with the arrow key. You'll see over here that they update. These are in the file. You'll have to reload them by going here to where they're located at and selecting them all. Shift selecting all of them. Uh, yeah, there's eight. Okay. Accept. Okay, and then that way they'll actually change. You'll they'll update. Now, if I'm in the black, it's the way the brush is set up. See, it's actually a texture mask set to random. Um, didn't bother working with rake. It'll just kind of cut back on how much. It, we got accumulate and alpha set up. Accumulate just lets it do like real paint and kind of fill in and build up real fast. Um, let's see here in the brush mask. They're alphas, so I've just got use alpha. And since we've got this as a image sequence, we've got auto refresh and cyclic t turned on. That's pretty much it, and they're set to clips, that way they don't repeat. Okay, and so we'll go ahead and reset our image. And here in the workspace, we're going to go ahead and press play. And you'll see the, the pretty cool, make it larger, so you can see, pretty good, pretty cool effects. Imagine if you're using this for actually uh, putting some grunge or something on something, um, and just like on, on top of that, you can go with white. Now you can you can shift uh, F to weaken it, so you can kind of get some of the other color underneath it, and X go back to the other color on this opposite color low pressure smaller uh, updated back see like we've got it set up right there for that we can set it to, to on so you only use the radius we're, we're doing so then I can that or larger. See what I'd like to do is very lightly touch it. See what kind of effect you're getting there. You're getting a really nice and random shape. And it looks less like a procedural so that when you're when you're doing some detailing or, or grunge work or cut away or you just need something interesting to break the shape. Lightly touching it. And it's changing on the timeline, which is pretty cool. All right. Well, that's that covers that, and uh, you can download it at the link that I'm going to provide. It's all up on BlendSwap. Like I said, you'll have to reconnect the uh, images to the, the the brush mask, but it shouldn't be very much of a, uh, a difficulty here. All right. Talk to you guys later. Thanks.